Okay, so let's say we've got to find this shaded region. So, in order to find the area of that shaded region, I'm going to have to use integration. And we've learned those skills already. It's just that now we're dealing with a graph that is y equals 2 root x. So we're going to have to deal with fractional and negative indices. So, if I am going to integrate 2 root x dx between 4 and 16, then I must first write 2 root x in as x to the something, okay, as a power of x. So, this is 2 lots of x to the half. Okay, so root x is x to the half. So that's quite a straightforward one to do. Now I'm going to integrate it. So I add 1 to the power, so 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves, divide by the new power, and I'm going to evaluate this between 4 and 16. Now, um, I want to really simplify that. You can leave it as is, but it looks quite messy. So I'm going to simplify this, because if you're dividing by 3 halves, that's the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. 2 lots of 2 thirds is 4 thirds. So I can rewrite this as 4 thirds x to the 3 halves, evaluated between 4 and 16. I'm now going to substitute in 16 and take away substituting in 4. So I have 4 thirds times 16 to the 3 halves. Take away 4 thirds times 4 to the 3 halves. So you can still see I still use the two bracket approach. So I just write one bracket, take away another bracket and then put in what I need. It will make your working out that much clearer. Now, 16 to the 3 halves. Well, 16 to the half is 4, so that's 4 cubed, which is 64. And then 4 thirds times 64 is 256 over 3. So you can check that on a calculator, and although my mental arithmetic isn't too bad, sometimes I don't trust myself. So, yes, I've got that one. Okay. And then this one, we've got 4 to the 3 halves, well, square root is 2, so that's 8. And then 4 thirds times 8 is 32 over 3. So you've got 256 over 3, take away 32 over 3, which will be 254, uh, 224 over 3. Okay, which is approximately 74.7 to one decimal place. Okay, and so there you have it. This is as it would be a regular integration problem, finding the area between the curve and the x-axis. It's just the function is slightly more troublesome to use because we introduce uh, power, of that's for fraction rather than nice whole numbers okay so just if you're not too happy with trying to do this in your head just do it on a calculator okay that's what it's there for